Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Network. It is Tuesday. It is the 10th of February, four minutes after six o'clock. I'm Emily Dukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. If you take the Young subway problems between uh, Bloor and Eglinton, no service. They've got signal problems at Davisville. I'll update that coming up. All right. Temperatures are a little bit on the cool side today. But From the standpoint of the temperatures, and we get a bit of sun. You've heard of random acts of kindness, I yes? do it every day. Really? Well, almost. Well, you know, it didn't me anyway. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> well, this woman in the Maritimes is actually placing hats on trees saying, I'm not lost. If you need me to stay warm, please take me. And everybody's kind of following the trend. So mm -hmm. if you have extra hats, mitts, go out and buy some, hang them onto the trees so people that don't necessarily have the means to stay warm can do so. That's very nice. It's lovely, it isn't is it? Lovely. Uh, trying to keep roadways clear. Thank you for all of the city workers that have worked very hard to keep our roads and sidewalks clear. We'll talk more about the long range forecast, more snow and more cold. But first, here's if you have outdoor activities planned today, good for you because today is a good day. We've got minus five, lots of sunshine, temperatures by tomorrow. Well, they're going to be mild, but we've got snow on the way, about two to five centimeters throughout the GTA through the morning and afternoon. Behind this snow, we've got winds coming in straight from the north. So on Thursday, temperatures are going to be dropping rapidly. By Friday, it's going to be frigid. A little bit more snow with the clipper system on Saturday. And then Sunday is going to be the coldest day of the weekend. We could actually see record-breaking lows here. We're seeing a low on Friday, minus 20, and on Sunday, minus 25. Well, if you have outdoor activities planned today, today is probably the best day for the remainder of the week and into the weekend to get outside and enjoy. We've got sunshine, daytime high of minus five. We still could see a little bit of lake effect coming off of Ontario with those north uh, west easterly winds throughout the Hamilton area, a couple of centimeters possible. Throughout the day tomorrow, we've got about two to five centimeters on the way to the GTA, but then come Thursday, temperatures will be dropping significantly. By Thursday night, we're certainly going to feel the chill. Friday is going to be one of the coldest days of the week, and then as we get into the weekend, the temperatures are plummeting. Now, if you notice on these maps, I mean, they come through, these little systems come through as little clippers for us, but then they turn into very powerful nor'easters through much of Atlantic Canada. I'm going to be talking about the comparison of what we're seeing this winter and what they're seeing this winter, including Boston. We'll talk more about that coming up. On Sunday, look at our temperatures. Minus 16, feeling more like minus 25 with the wind. Such a wonderful story. Thanks so much for that. Now today we do have some snow on the way. It's er, sorry. Rewind. We don't have snow on the way today. We've got snow on the way more so for tomorrow. A little bit of lake effect through Hamilton today, but that's about it. Now let's put things into comparison. Today and into the whole winter, we have seen 81 centimeters of snow for the city of Toronto. Windsor's picked up 204 centimeters. Let's compare that to somewhere like Boston. Boston is at its ninth heaviest snowy winter, if that makes any sense, with 187.7 centimeters of snow. Uh, they have declared a state of emergency in Massachusetts. It is bad. Now for us, we've got a little bit more snow on the way for tomorrow and a little bit more on the weekend, but I think our big story is certainly going to be our cold temperatures. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds now. He has an update on your commute. A great day today to grab the kids, go tobogganing, build a snowman. We've got sunshine and we've got temperatures that are going to be relatively mild compared to the rest of the week. Now, we do have some snow moving in throughout the day tomorrow. This will give us about two to five centimeters, but we are going to see some wind and temperatures. They're not going to be too bad. We're looking at close to the freezing mark. But then after this system behind this cold front, our winds are going to shift to a straight northerly direction and it is going to be frigid as we get into the weekend. Friday, we're looking at a daytime high minus 12, feeling more like minus 19. Yeah, when we talk about the extreme cold, it certainly is here. Lots of warnings in play. We'll talk about them throughout the hour. Minus 14 in Edmonton, minus 5 for Toronto, and things are about to get a lot colder in through the afternoon, minus 11 in Sudbury. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Tuesday. It is the 10th of February, 644. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and it is a fairly busy day out on the highways. A lot of people crashing out there. Mm. You get into this t these temperatures, and you've got sand, and you've got salt on the roads. Your tires, <laughs> your tires don't work very well, and you end up crashing. And that's what we're getting. A lot of people just crashing into Some one people another. need to slow down. Well, I would say that that's probably a good suggestion. Slow down. Pay attention. I don't like to tell people that, but slow down. Because it's the obvious? Well, sure. Of slow course. down. Of I know, course. but people don't get it sometimes. Right. So you got to hammer it in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kevin joins us in Oakville this morning. And Kevin, the rumor has it is that you're going to be curling today. And here we go, Emily Tom. Hurry! Hurry hard! Hurry! 
Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I just woke somebody up over there. Uh, back to the studio. Sorry. Oh, Kevin. You know what's funny is actually Tom taught him that in the hallway this morning. And so the two of them were screaming hard at each other in the newsroom. It was good times. All right, we'll talk more about the long-range forecast and the cool down in temperatures. But first, here's Tom with traffic. And if Emily had a rock, she would have thrown it at us. Uh, but uh, he's also going to have to learn what the hammer is, which I was just saying, Emily, is the last shot. So anyway, let's go and have a look, see how we're... Well, today's a good day. Today, get out, enjoy the sun, enjoy the snow, take the kids out. Just get outside because tomorrow we've got snow on the way, about two to five centimeters. So it's not going to make you hibernate or anything. But then the temperatures behind this system, that will make you hibernate. It is going to be cold. Starting on Thursday, temperatures are going to be dropping throughout the day. So those northerly winds straight from the Arctic. Saturday, new clipper system comes in and temperatures on Sunday are going to be the coldest of the weekend. We're looking at minus 12 by Friday, feeling like minus 19, overnight low of minus 20. And then on Sunday, minus 16, feeling like minus 25 with an overnight low staying at minus 25. All right, thanks so much, Jacqueline. We've got some cold wind chills today down through Hamilton. It's going to feel more like minus 12. It's going to feel like minus 12 in Barrie and minus 8 through Toronto. Now, if you thought that was bad, wait until later on in this week. We're going to start to see these dark purples make their way down towards southern Ontario. By Friday, we're going to be feeling closer to minus 19 when you factor in the wind. And by Sunday, it's going to be the coldest day of the weekend. We are going to feel like minus 25 when you factor in that wind chill. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom for an update on your commute. All right, thanks so much, Kevin. We'll talk about your long-range forecast. We've got a little bit more snow on the way and temperatures dropping dramatically. All that good news coming up. But first, here's Tom with all your traffic good news. Today's a great day to be outside. We're looking at minus five with some sunshine, get the kids out, get some exercise, and then tomorrow we've got some snow on the way. Temperatures will be milder because of a southerly flow. We'll be into that warm sector, but we're going to see snow throughout the day, mostly in the afternoon and then through the evening. Uh, temperatures are going to start to drop throughout the day on Thursday. You can see the straight north northerly wind. Saturday, new clipper system comes in. Again, a few centimeters of snow, quite likely. Our big story through the GTA is going to be our cold temperatures. Friday feeling like minus 19, and by Sunday, we're going to be feeling like minus 25 when you factor in the wind. Well, the forecast isn't a mess right now. We've got mild temperatures for today. We're looking at a daytime high of minus 5 with a little bit of sunshine. Could see a little bit of lake effect through the Hamilton area with those northeasterly winds off of Ontario. New system approaching throughout the day tomorrow. We'll pick up anywhere from 2 to 5 centimeters throughout the GTA. And then our big story, the cold temperatures settle in. We've got a lot of Arctic air coming in. So by Friday, it is going to feel like minus 19 when you factor in the wind. A little bit of snow for Saturday. And then by Sunday, coldest day of the weekend feeling like minus 25. Go. A great initiative. Thanks so much for that. We do have a little bit of snow on the way. Not so much for today, except for a little bit of lake effect around the western shores of Lake Ontario through the Hamilton area. This is more so for a system tomorrow, and this is just going to be adding to our grand total. Right now, so far this winter, we've picked up 81 centimeters of snow. Through Hamilton, a little higher, 101 centimeters. Take a look at Windsor, 204 centimeters. Now let's put this into perspective. I'm sure you've been watching the news. You've seen exactly what's been happening through Boston and they have just gotten hammered with storm after storm after storm. It's the same storms that are actually hitting the maritime provinces. And right now they're sitting at 187.7 centimeters and they've got another nor'easter coming in later on this week. Now we do have a little bit of snow coming in by the weekend, but the big thing for us, I think, is that it's going to be very, very cold. Cold temperatures being our big story. Here's Tom now with an update on your commute. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is the 10th of February, 744. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And you know it's bad outside when the uh, radio room in Aurelia is giving uh, a choice of four different crashes for the OPP officer going to the scene of one of them. Oh, no. So which one would you like? You've got, you've got a multitude of crashes for you. So Yikes. there's quite a few problems. 400 series highways. All right. Well, Tom will break down our traffic <laughs> issues in just a few moments. But first, let's check in with Kevin. He's joining us from the Oakville Curling Club. <laughs> and Kevin, I have to say, Hey, what have you learned so far? You you look great. You look like you know how to do it. <laughs> exactly, Kevin. It looks a lot easier than it is. There's a lot of balance in that. And remember, you have one slippery foot. So we'll see. <laughs> Make sure you tune in in about 15 minutes. Kevin will be doing it live. We'll talk more about the long-range forecast. We've got a cool down on the way. But first, Tom, uh, which of those accidents did the OPP pick? Do you know? 
Not a bad day today. Minus five with some sunshine. Enjoy it while we have it because we've got snow on the way tomorrow. It's not a ton. We're looking at about two to five centimeters throughout much of the GTA. And then behind this clipper system, we are going to be seeing a lot of cold air filter in. We've got northerly winds by Friday. It is going to be feeling closer to minus 20. Saturday, we warm up a little bit with a new clipper system, but then Sunday temperatures plunge again. It is going to feel closer to minus 25 when you throw in the wind throughout much of the GTA. Where is the snow falling today? Well, we do have a system that is just leaving Nova Scotia. You will see light flurries throughout the day today. Also some sea effect snow to enhance some of those totals. And then it will be in Newfoundland. And that could be bringing around 5 to 10 centimeters through the Avalon. And you're going to be seeing a lot more throughout this week. Stay with us. We have all the numbers coming up. Also some snow in through Ontario. This is all coming out of Manitoba as a clipper rides through. Today is going to be a pretty active day as we look north of Superior to places like Thunder Bay and Gerald. Hi there, it's Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's February the 10th, four minutes after 8 o'clock. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And uh, a crazy day on the highways. Uh, sometimes these types of days, but Jeff, people are going too fast. Mm -hmm. And we've had tons of crashes on the 401, 404 series highways, 400, mm -hmm. QEW. So um, everything's just a bit slow out there. So Take it easy. There's a speed limit for a reason, right? Uh, well, you know, I don't even think they should be going the speed limit with the way it is out there right now. <laughs> I suppose, Walking yeah. the bagger, getting stuff on the roads. All right, well, I promised you something 10 minutes ago that Kevin Yard would show us how of an expert he has become in curling. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kevin joins us from the Oakville Curling Club. And Kevin, I mean, you look the part, but can you play the part? Nice. Hurry! That's good. Hurry, Hurry! 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 <laughs> go, go, hurry! Up, up, up! Hurry! That's pretty good. Nice shot. That is a good shot. Nice shot. I got it. In. Look at that. That's a really Whoa. good shot. Right. <laughs> Back inside the studio, we're at the Oakville Curling Club. That's amazing. <laughs> that was really had nothing to do with the sweeper. <laughs> She had nothing to do with it. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Looks like a lot of fun. We'll talk about your long-range forecast. We have a little bit of snow on the way and the potential for really cold temperatures. But first, Tom, what's going on on those roads? That was going right through the house, and there's no way you can use your broom to stop it in the button. No way. That's not, it's not allowed, Kevin. Well, we are seeing a decent day today. We're looking at minus 5 with some sunshine, so get out and enjoy it. We've got snow on the way for tomorrow. Not a ton. We're looking at about 2 to 5 centimeters throughout much of the GTA. By Thursday, we'll still see a few isolated flurries, but our temperatures will start to drop. And by Friday, we are actually going to feel more like minus 19 with the wind. And the coldest day of the weekend, after a little bit of snow on Saturday, will be Sunday, feeling closer to minus 25. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 10th of February, 844. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and it has been a crazy day on the highways. We've had just non-stop crashes all morning long. I suspect people are just going a little too fast for the conditions. You've got a lot of aggregate and salt and mm -hmm. dirt and junk on your wheels, and your brakes don't work as well, so you've got to be careful. Before we get to Kevin Yard, I have something just for you. Okay, go ahead. Guess how cold it's going to feel on Sunday. How cold is it going to feel on Sunday? Just guess. I would say it's going to feel like about feel like. minus 34. Minus 40. Oh, for Pete's sake. Getting us right into that family day. But it is going to warm up for Monday, and I'll have more on that in the long race. I'm sorry, Dr. Doug Gillum just told me all this stuff, so I have to share. I was thinking of going to the cottage. <laughs> all right, let's check in with Kevin. It's going to be minus 50 up there. All good. Uh, Kevin's in Oakville at the Curly Club. And uh, Kevin, did you, did you hear the good news that I just told Tom that it's going to feel like minus 40 on Sunday? <laughs> nice work, Kevin. All right, here's Tom now with an update on traffic. Sunny day today with temperatures hitting around minus 5, so enjoy the warmth while we have it. System coming through tomorrow could give us about 2 to 5 centimeters throughout the GTA. Behind this, not so much for Thursday, but for Friday, temperatures take a plunge. We've got a lot of northerly air coming in from the Arctic, and it's going to feel closer to the minus 20s. By Sunday, temperatures are going to be hovering around minus 20 and have the potential to feel closer to minus 35 to minus 40. Thanks, Kim. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is February the 10th. It is a fairly decent start to the day. If you feel like doing some winter activities and being inside, well, let's join Kevin Yard. He joins us at the Oakville Curling Club. And Kevin, so far, you've been doing a really great job. This is your first time curling, is it not? Nice. Whoa, Look that, at is, that. that is an amazing shot, Emily. Wow. 
<laughs> Thanks so much, Kevin. Oh, wow. Lots, looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Today's going to be a good day. We've got temperatures hitting minus 5. It is going to feel a little colder when you factor in the wind, but that's not a big deal. We do have a little bit of snow on the way, about 2 to 4 centimeters throughout the day tomorrow, throughout much of the GTA. And then behind the system, we are really going to notice our temperatures drop significantly. So Wednesday, we've got this clipper. Thursday, we'll see a few lingering flurries, possibly a little bit of lake effect. And then the temperatures are going to plummet throughout the day on Friday. Saturday, we do have a little bit of snow on the way. Look at that, Friday, feeling like minus 19. Saturday, we warm up as we get into the warm sector of that next system, and then Sunday, coldest day of the weekend, minus 16, but feeling like minus 25 when you factor in the wind and an overnight low of minus 25. For more of our top five videos, just head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is February the 10th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Not a bad day expected for today. We've got daytime highs hitting around minus five, feeling closer to minus eight. But like I was mentioning, temperatures are going to be relatively mild in comparison. Now, we do have a system on the way throughout the day tomorrow. This one's going to drop anywhere from 2 to 5 centimeters throughout the GTA. But then on Thursday, temperatures are going to drop like a brick. It is going to be very cold by Friday. Look at this northerly wind coming in. You can just see it right from the north, that Arctic air filtering in through southern Ontario. We do have another system coming in for Saturday that could bring us a little bit more snow, but it's also going to help moderate our temperatures a little bit. So yay for snow. <laughs> Friday, minus 12, feeling like minus 19, and over low of minus 20. The record is minus 23, so we're close to that for sure. Now for Saturday, we do have that light snow coming in, but warming up to minus 7, and then Sunday behind the cold front, we plunge. Minus 16, feeling like minus 25. We'll see an overnight low of minus 25. So getting up Monday morning is going to be absolutely frigid. And it looks as though these cold temperatures, they don't want to go anywhere. They want to stick around through the GTA for the next couple of days or the next week or so. So make sure you get out today or even into tomorrow when the weather is going to be relatively mild. This weather sick. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic and joining me is meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum to talk about the long range forecast. I'm not a huge fan of the cold. I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of the cold, but that's what you're here to talk about, isn't it? I don't think anyone's going to love our Valentine's Day forecast. No. You know, February has been cold so far. This map shows temperatures relative to average so far this month. And the shades of blue and green highlight that it has been three to five degrees below average across southern Ontario, including the GTA. Let's take a look at the next this five days. This one starts to scare me. Yes, this is Thursday through early next week where temperatures will be averaging 10 to 50. 15 oh. degrees colder than average. So we haven't seen anything yet. And let's take a look specifically at we Sunday. We haven't seen anything yet. That's promising. Right. All right, let's try this. Oh, Sunday. Doug, that coldest, hurts my feelings. The coldest temperatures in the hemisphere relative to average centered right on the Great Lakes. The coldest temperatures in the hemisphere. Okay, good to know. All right, so this weekend, stay inside. Uh, yeah. The details, uh, Thursday, blustery flurries, falling temperatures. Right, high on Thursday will be first thing in the morning. And by the evening commute, temperatures will be around minus 15 and falling. And there'll be some lake effect snow, some difficult travel south of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay. The near record cold for Friday morning, the record at Pearson's minus mm -hmm. 23. The wind chill will be near minus 30. Wind subside, we get some sunshine during the afternoon. <laughs> Wind subside. <laughs> and then on Saturday. Another clipper, two to five centimeters of snow. And during the evening, the winds really pick up out of the northeast. Very difficult travel along the QEW and Niagara. And then Sunday, wind chills near minus 40, an overnight low near okay. minus 25, dangerously cold temperatures. And the frigid temperatures continue into next week, though for family day, at least it backs off just a little bit. But if you have out a bit. outdoor plans, definitely keep that in mind. All right, bundle up the kids this weekend. This weather's boys. They look like fun, but they look like something I don't think I would ever try. <laughs> I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 10th of February. Today, not a bad day. We've got a decent forecast. We're looking at a daytime high of minus 5 with a mix of sun and cloud. Really? That's incredible. Job, if he was right? actually doing it, that would be oh, even more boy. incredible, but still. <laughs> Looking like a lot of fun. Thanks so much, Jessica, for sending that in to us. If you've got viewer video, we'd love to see it. Just upload it to our website, theweathernetwork.com.
Yeah. We've got northeasterly winds continuing throughout the day today, so Hamilton could still be picking up a little bit of leg effect. I know you've seen a few centimeters in the last 24 hours or so. System snow on the way for tomorrow. We're looking at about two to five centimeters, generally speaking, throughout the GTA. And then temperatures are going to plunge dramatically behind this cold front. So by Friday, we're actually going to be feeling like minus 19 when you factor in the winds. New clipper system coming through for Saturday, and then the winds, they go right back from the north right back from the Arctic, it is going to be absolutely frigid. And if you have travel plans this weekend, it being family day, if you're heading to the east, you're going to certainly want to call ahead. They're setting up for another nor'easter. So more snow, more rain, more messy weather on the way through Atlantic Canada. Temperatures, we're looking at minus one for tomorrow, minus six for Thursday, <laughs> cooling down dramatically by Friday to minus 12, feeling like minus 19. Saturday, we've got that snow coming in. And then Sunday, we're actually going to be feeling like minus 24 in Hamilton with an overnight low of minus 25. It's going to be cold right into the beginning of next week. This Thanks, Kim. For more videos, just head to our website. Uh, Around the World in 60 Seconds can be found at theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 10th of February. Not a bad start to the day, but if you'd rather be inside participating in winter activities, well, then let's check in with Kevin Yard. He's live in Oakville this morning practicing his curling. And Kevin, for a first-timer, uh, what's the advice? Are you, are you doing really well? Are people saying that they're impressed with your newbie skills? I don't know, Kevin, you're making it look kind of easy. <laughs> Maybe it's still worth helping you a little bit. <laughs> All right, today, not a bad day. We've got some sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures about minus five. Tomorrow, we do have some snow moving through. We're going to see about two to five centimeters, generally speaking, throughout the GTA. And then temperatures behind this cold front are going to plummet. Not so much on Thursday, but on Friday. We're really going to feel that chill with all of that Arctic air coming down from the north. Saturday, new clipper moving in. That'll help warm up our temperatures for one day. And then on Sunday is going to be the coldest day of the weekend. Family day, of course, being Monday, much better conditions. Now we are going to be seeing a very cold Friday, minus 12, feeling like minus 19, but on Sunday it is going to be much colder. It's going to feel like minus 25 with the wind. Thanks, Mark. You can head to our website for more signs behind the weather. It's about 60 seconds or so <laughs> at theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It is the 10th of February. It is a decent start to the day coming off of Lake Ontario. So even Hamilton picking up a few isolated flurries throughout the day today. By tomorrow, we've got system snow approaching. This is expected to bring anywhere between kind of two to five centimeters throughout the GTA. And then temperatures behind it are going to plummet. So in comes the clipper, moves out. And then we do have temperatures dropping significantly with that Arctic air just in time for the weekend. Saturday, new system comes in, and this is going to be our one to watch for next week. Look at these temperatures. Tomorrow, a decent day. If you don't mind getting out in the snow, we're looking at minus one. Thursday, minus six, and then by Friday, minus 12, but feeling more like minus 19 when you factor in the wind. Saturday, the snow will help warm us up, but by Sunday, feeling like minus 25. It has been brought to you by Fisherman's Friends Lozenges. When the weather has you down, reach for a friend. Fisherman's Friend.